So today I've come up with a gift guide. I have over 50 items across multiple categories for the special women or ladies in your life. If you don't want to watch this video and hear me talk through and share my opinions, you can just check out the description below and I have every item with links included in the description. Now without further ado, let's get into the first category. So for the first category, I have technology or office accessories. The first item, and this would be the biggest recommendation I have, is the Atom Tech selfie stick tripod. I'm actually using it to record right now. It is fantastic. You can film multiple ways and it's just really convenient. So if someone loves social media, I would highly recommend. Next up, I have a phone stand. You can get these pretty cheap at a variety of different places, but a phone stand just to put either on your nightstand or on your desk or in your bathroom. Now to go off of that, I have a car phone holder. I actually have one that just attaches onto my air vent. If you're someone that travels a lot and is going places you might not necessarily know where you're going, so you're using maps, I would highly recommend it as it can be very, very useful. For the office, either a stand-up desk or a stand-up desk converter. For me personally, I did purchase a stand-up desk and I absolutely love working at it. It's just great to be able to get up. But you can also get converters that just go on top of regular desks that you already own. There are standing pads that can be great additions. Uh, this is supposed to be better just for your body so that you're not standing just on the ground all day. So I've seen stand-up pads be very popular. Now, a walking treadmill is like the top gift I'm looking for this Christmas. I found one through Walmart that's just over $200, but they can be quite expensive depending on the one you get. So I personally am gonna ask for the Walmart one that's right around 200 as a nice start just to get me a little bit active instead of sitting at my desk for hours and hours a week. Next on my list are the Bose noise canceling headphones. I don't personally have these, but my fiance does and I have used them a few times and I absolutely love them. The last item I have in the tech category is a ring light attachment for a laptop. I do have one of these already and I have it attached on to my at home computer. For the next category, I have beauty items. First up is the Elta MD UV Clear Sunscreen. It is a really, really good face sunscreen if you have sensitive skin, so I would highly recommend it. For lip products, I have the Urban Decay Lipstick is an all-time favorite of mine. The other is actually a Too Faced product. It's the Too Faced Melted Matte Lip Gloss. The curler I have been using all the time in literally every one of my videos is the Baby Bliss Pro Curler. Actually, my mom had it and I stole it from her and then got her a new one, um, so it's been a huge favorite in my family. Now a beauty item I don't have that I would love to get my hands on is a Dyson wrap hair dryer. Now these are expensive. When I looked it was about $430. I believe they were actually sold out on the website at that time but I'm sure you can get them elsewhere. The next category is for the bathroom. So first I have an expandable bath tray. For me, our bathtub is pretty pretty large, I would say, not the average size. So I would love to have an expandable bath tray just to lounge around, either put a book or an iPad, um, a drink, all on the bath tray. I think that would just be super luxurious. Next for bath is slippers, specifically skin slippers. Now I have some slippers currently that I don't love and I have heard very very, very positive things about Skims Hotel Slippers. They're around $50, so a little bit higher for the price point, but as far as what I've heard, they are definitely worth it and something I will be asking for. And if you're getting slippers, you also need a robe. I bought Victoria's Secret bathrobe years ago, and it is hands down one of my favorite things I own. The next category we have is kitchen. So first off, some cups that I'm asking for this Christmas. There are these 16 ounce cups with lids and straws that are very popular on Amazon that I think are so cute and would be great to drink and make iced coffee in. 
I'm also asking for a Yeti cup with a uh, straw in it. Some of the other things I would highly recommend are charcuterie or charcuterie items. So a charcuterie board is an absolute must. You can get these relatively inexpensive around $30, or you can get some very expensive boards around $200, $250, depending on where you're getting it from. I love charcuterie boards. I love making them. So I actually have quite a few that I use very often. Something I don't have that I'm asking for this Christmas is these stencils that you can kind of poke into different cheeses and that you can write on with a uh, kind of chalk type of crayon um, and say, you know, like this is a sharp cheese or this is blue cheese. So I don't have those yet, but there are a few items that I'm definitely asking for. And then if you have someone in your life that likes charcuterie, I would highly recommend checking out the links below. Last but not least for the kitchen section is a cold brew coffee maker. I love coffee. And although I do really like hot coffee, I also love cold brew. And I've been noticing I've been spending a ton of money at Starbucks on cold brew coffee. So something I'm asking for is a cold brew coffee maker. I found one and I have it linked in the description. You can't have a gift guide without talking about home decor. So here are a few items that I'm asking for or loving recently. First, H&M Home has been everywhere on social media. They have ceramic vases that look so beautiful, very high quality, and I'm asking for some of the vases this Christmas. Next up is designer books. I love coffee table books. I think they're so beautiful. I found a Louis Vuitton book on Amazon that was 80 bucks that I've linked below that I think would be a great addition to anyone's home. Next, I have this minimalist line art and frames to go with it. I actually own both of these items. And if you check out some of my other videos, you can see them in the background of my old bedroom. I haven't hung them up in the new house yet, but I would highly, highly recommend as I absolutely love these Amazon items. Speaking of items that I do love that are from Amazon, I have this lovely shelving unit. It has both shelves and a clothing rack. It was only $100 from Amazon and I think it is a great addition to the room. I also have a full length mirror. It was on the more expensive side. I believe it's right around $400, but I think having a good full length mirror just to check out your outfits really can change your confidence and change your day. Last but not least, I have a West Elm candle holders. I have a few different candle holders from West Elm, and even though it is a more expensive store, I would say their candle holders are definitely a more inexpensive option. I'm really looking forward to mixing and matching the West Elm candle holders with the vases I'm hopefully getting from H&M Home this year. The next category is clothing. I am obsessed with clothes and I have a few recommendations I really, really think people should have. First off, Lululemon Align Leggings. I have a pair, I wear them all the time and they are seriously the most comfortable thing in my wardrobe. Next, we have Skims dresses. Now, you've probably seen her dresses on social media. I own two maxi dresses, both from Skims, that I am obsessed with and cannot recommend enough. When it comes to jumpsuits, I have had the best luck with Express. I have a few jumpsuits from there that I am always wearing on rotation. So even though I already have some, I am asking for a few more this year, just because I really need to change up what I'm wearing when I go into the office. Um, for some basics, I have a Razorback tank. Uh, the one I have is from We Wore What. It's a little bit more expensive. It's about $55 but it is seriously so well built and it has the additional lining. So if that is something that you're concerned about with other tanks, it is a huge pro when it comes to We Wore What. The last clothing item I have is also from We Wore What. It is this turtleneck bodysuit. It is $78, I believe, and it is seriously to die for. I got it in cream and in black, so something that has been a huge staple in my wardrobe since the weather has gotten a little bit colder. 
My next category is around fitness and working out. All these are items that can be for someone who doesn't have a home gym or a lot of space. Maybe they still live in an apartment, but the three things I would recommend are one, a yoga mat. You can find these really anywhere and they really can range in price, but it's always great to get some additional stretching in. Next, I have resistance bands. Again, another great way to get an at-home workout regardless of the space. And finally, our free weights. Um, really, you can get these a variety of places as well. Where I've been looking is Target, but again, feel free to check out other places. For shoes, there are two shoes that I've absolutely been obsessed with this year. They are the Short Hunter Rain Boots, which anytime it's been raining, which happens a lot here, I have been wearing. And then second would be my Sperry tennis shoes that are just very basic. They're all white and I wear them quite frequently. Both of these are everyday staples that I would highly recommend to really anyone that's looking for rain boots or tennis shoes. The shoe that I'm asking for this holiday season is a Steve Madden block heel. I don't love wearing heels, but the block heels I do think make it a lot easier and they definitely can make your outfits look a little bit more put together. For accessories, the favorite accessory I've purchased this year has been my Lululemon Wear Everywhere belt bag. It's a really, really adorable fanny pack. It comes in a variety of different colors and patterns, and it has been my obsession this year. Some of the other items I've really loved and would highly recommend are the Backyard Sunglasses by Danielle Bernstein or We Wore What. They're a little bit more expensive. I do believe they're on sale at Revolve right now for around $50, um, but they're just so chic and I've worn them quite frequently. Another Danielle Bernstein item that I just recently purchased and reviewed in a video are her vegan leather gloves. They were $58, they come in brown and black, and I know I'm gonna be getting a ton of use out of them this winter. Two other items that I am looking for this holiday season. One is a clear travel makeup bag. I do have one, but it is quite small and I've noticed that it doesn't fit all of my travel items. I do like having the clear bags just in case you are going through security and they need to check something. It just makes everything a lot easier. Also, I think when you're packing, it makes it easier to see what you've already packed and it's easier to know if you forgot something. And then last but not least, this is kind of a crazy item, but a brewery bucket hat which is around $400 is an item I've always thought was so, so cute and would be really nice to have one day. I'm not gonna be pushing this over the treadmill, but it is something that I think is absolutely adorable and I'd love to have. The last category I have is holiday, and these are all items that I really would love to receive as a gift. So from Crate and Barrel, they have this reindeer doormat that I think is absolutely darling. Also from Crate and Barrel are these bourbon holiday glasses. Now I don't personally drink bourbon, but they are only $10 each, and I saw them and just was like, I need to have those. They are so stinking cute. I have stockings from Pottery Barn. I really like that you could get them embroidered and I just thought the Pottery Barn ones were so beautiful. There were so many different designs to choose from. And for me, I'm trying to be more sustainable. So instead of, you know, just getting a cheaper one that I might have to switch out every few years, I figured I should invest in a higher quality stocking that can last me for Christmases to come. And the last item on the gift list is a William Sonoma gift crate. Now, this is kind of like an all in gift for maybe the woman that you just don't know what to get her. There is a ton of different kind of crate gift basket type of ideas on William Sonoma. Uh, they start around $80, they go up to about $200. So depending on what your price range is, but they have a lot of different uh, gift categories that you could purchase from that I think any woman would be happy to receive. Okay, and that's the end of the gift guide. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will be sure to get back to you. If you're interested in figuring out some gift ideas for guys, I am actually gonna be posting a video about 10 gifts for men uh, later this week, so be sure to check that out as well. All right, thanks so much and happy holidays. Bye.